Are you utilizing all of Windows features? If not, then today's video sponsor, Bob Keys, is here to help. Bob Keys sell all types of online keys for super cheap. Let's take a look at how cheap we can get a Windows 10 Pro key for. Currently, it is selling for 19.5 US dollars, but with the coupon code IFR25, you can get 25% off of your order. Simply click buy now, enter the code IFR25, and watch that price drop to $14.62 and submit your order. In the user center, under purchased orders, you will find the key. Start typing activate in Windows search and paste your new key to activate. This key will be permanently activated. Again, if you are interested, use code IFR25 for 25% off, or you can check out the links in the video description. G'day guys, welcome back to another PTS. Uh, we appreciate your support, Amelia and I, you Patreons and YouTube members, you keep our channel going. It's greatly appreciated and uh, it helps us out an absolute bunch, especially to afford, you know, things like acrylic and, and that, um, it's, especially going full time, you know, Amelia and I really, really appreciate it. So thanks to you guys, we get to do what we love and uh, we thank you for that. Yeah, thanks guys. What do we have here? So, Look this at is this. the uh, this is amazing. wonderful Hulk PC. This is actually a charity build giveaway. Uh, we like to try and do what we can at least once a year for charity. Uh, this time it's going to be RSPCA because Amelia and I love animals. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, what we're going to do is we, we've built this PC, we're going to auction it off, and we're also holding a raffle. Um, well, that video is probably out by the time they see this, right? That's true. Yeah, so we are holding a raffle, or we have held a raffle, as some of you guys might have already seen. And um, yeah, we're gonna try and raise money for the RSPCA to help animals. And we made a Hulk themed PC out of it. Now, this is brought to you by Aerocool and um, Aorus, who supplied the motherboard, grabbing scarred, fans and case and everything like that. So a big thank you to those guys. Um, and we, we really appreciate it, especially for things like this where we can, you know, help out animals in need and things like that. Uh, inside, I believe this is a 3070. So it's gonna be a really nice system. And um, we've got thermal take water cooling, as I said, aero cool case and fans and things like that. And uh, all the hardware is from Aorus, so. Someone's going to enjoy a Hulk PC. Maybe you should buy it. <laughs> I'm so tempted. I do like how it turned out, especially so like I. the front plate because it's got it's got Hulk there, so and then cool. it's got ground cracks which um, light up from the RGB strip that I've got underneath it. So it, it turned out really nice, actually. I'm you yeah. know, I'm pretty happy with it. And then I we've got the uh, the GPU sag sag bracket. Um, I left off the the sag part because it sort of lines up with the GPU. But I am going to ship it with the PC, so you know the uh, winner can do what they want with it. Um, I thought it looked better like that. And this plate here and the GPU backlight is from V1 Tech. So excited to have those guys on board as well. So yeah, that's that's pretty much it. I hope you all enjoy the uh, build, guys. I appreciate your support as always. Here we go, look at this. That's the, uh, this was a while back. I can't even remember what the specs are. Oh, that's our 3090, I found it. <laughs> <laughs> I found the 3090. It went missing. I thought it was in the box up there. <laughs> oh, this is the one uh, MSI and Antec build. This is, so we've, we've got PCs piled up because we've been working hard, uh, you know, leading up to Christmas to try and get ahead so we can have, you know, at least a week's break because we've been working like crazy and especially going full time, we just need a bit of a break. But this is the MSI Antec build. I think it's the DP502 case. I could be wrong there, but um, yeah, it's a nice little case. Got... Oh, wow, I never knew it did that. I don't know what this is. It's a bit of a wing, you know, like <laughs> back and forth gives a bit, of, bit more bit air. More air. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Actually, that's a, a, a uh, what is it? Five and a quarter inch bay. 
I don't know why they, like who uses that anymore? No one. Oh, that's right. So with this case, in order to fit this 360 millimeter radiator, I had to bend the bay, um, parts of the bay back to actually fit the 360 millimeter in. So this case is not actually meant to have a 360 in it, which I think is um, wasted space because you can fit, like look at that, it looks nice with a 360 millimeter radiator, three fans. But um, yeah, so this was a nice simple build that we did for Antec and MSI. I uh, made an acrylic plate at the front. It looks like some of the vinyls are already starting to fall oh, off. Oh no. That was because oh, yeah. I no, that was because I etched I etched the acrylic first and I wasn't really happy with the etching so I decided to put vinyl over it and because it's like rough underneath from the etching the vinyl didn't stick properly. But that's alright, this is probably going in the bin now. Unfortunately. <laughs> um yeah, so this was a high-end system, although we did have to use the B550 Tomahawk. It's not exactly a high-end motherboard, but for what we needed to use it for, it's more than enough. Um, I think we've got the 3900X CPU in this system. Yes, I must have because I was missing it for another PC build. So 3900X and the, um, uh, what's that graphics card? The 3090 from MSI beefy system what do you guys think let us know in the comments below if you liked this system and thanks for your support guys missing well you know you know my builds like I need to use parts for others so they end up skeletons by the time we ended up filming these BTS videos but uh, yeah the graphics card is missing uh, I've already started taking apart the cables at the back and this uh, PC is ready to be fully dismantled but um, this was the entry for the case by world series competition uh, we fully painted the case had to prime it first, then we put uh, different layers of green on there. Then we put a clear coat on that, and then we flicked black all over it. Uh, we made this custom panel for the top, which is sitting on there with pass-through fittings so that the uh, water cooling can go down and inside the case. And it, we ended up putting the radiator on the bottom because there was no room in here. So we wanted to maximize the cooling and um, also provide more gap between the GPU and the radiator itself so nothing was suffocating. And by doing that, we also had to raise the legs. So we found some leftover coat hanger hooks <laughs> and they just worked for the feet. So that's what we ended up using. So crafty. The, the water cooling is all EK water blocks apart from the reservoir, which is bits power. Uh, this was the smallest reservoir I had, so that's what we ended up putting on the top. And we put it on a bit of a slant because I thought it looked nice. Oh, that's pretty much the only reason, really. Mm -hmm. um, we've got MSI, Viper Gaming, and Cooler Master for the sponsors of this build. So I thought it turned out really nice, and I don't know what to do with the case. I think I might just give it away. What do you guys think? Should we give the case away? Let us know in the comments below. This build. I mean, I love it. This is the way. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> this is the way. I love this build. It's all white, isn't it? Oh, here we go. Oh, you don't like that one? Here we go again. <laughs> <laughs> no, this one turned out really nice and really clean. I was actually really happy with this. And this case is from a company called Montech. Um, I actually haven't worked with them before, and I thought it was a really nice case to build in. Um, like even the front panel, it's uh, it's all open for air to get in and everything. A lot of companies they have the full front closed and then they've only like they've just got gaps on the side. But 
It's all open for ventilation. Some nice included fans with it. Um, I even like I like their fans overall. It's they're really nice sort of um, quality, and the RGB turned out really nice too. What do you think of the etching on here? I did something a little different. Yeah, it's really cool. So I actually, I painted the back of the acrylic black. And then what I did was I painted the front uh, white. And then I did the etching over the white, which burnt off the white um, to create the details. So that's kind of why it has like this grainy look to it. It's a really good idea. Yeah. I was trying something new. Yeah. Uh, I thought it turned out pretty good. Oh, so. I love this build so much. And we got Baby Yoda. <laughs> yes. Twice. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even remember what specs are in here, to be honest. I think there's a 3900X in the motherboard and the graphics card. I believe that's our. Sh oh, what is it? Is that our. It's not our Strix. I can't remember what graphics card it is, but. There it is. If you guys want to know the specs, perhaps just visit the video. <laughs> yeah, it'll be linked down below. Yeah, there you go. Much easier. And then we've got, what water cooling is that? We've got Bits Power water cooling. And the ASRock uh, X570 Aqua motherboard. I'm, I'm still annoyed that the motherboard got a bit damaged in shipping from um, CES. Yeah. Like it's got scratches and that all over it. Mm -hmm. but, uh, well, there's not much we could do about it. Maybe we could try and make a new sort of panel to fix that section. Know. Anyway guys, thanks for your support. Um, I hope you all enjoyed the Mandalorian build and uh, we'll see you in the next one.